Hi everyone, um, just wanted to do an update with my Bell's palsy uh, current condition. This is four days in. Um, I made a video when I was 24 hours into it. Just wanted to give you an update. So I'd say when I made that last video, I my mood and energy was great to where I was saying, you know what, the next day I'm gonna go about my day, teach, go to the gym, go to jujitsu, live my life, no big deal. And then the next day, just was super depressed, low energy, dizzy, all uh, completely apathetic towards existence itself. And never felt that way before. Nausea, sensitive ear. And I was like, man, I guess my face is getting worse. And it was interesting because after one day, my mouth was less numb. Even even right now, I'd say my whole face is less numb. But I can tell as I'm talking, if you listen to the first video, my voice sounds worse with the P's and B's and F's, even though my mouth feels better. I have more function over my mouth in terms of a bit more feeling and being able to eat and all of that. So that's improved for sure over the last four days, even though it would, I sound worse. Um, but after the second day, my eyebrow got stiffer. First video I made, when I was able to do this, my eyebrow could move a bit. That seems to not be there. So currently, I'll take my glasses off to avoid reflection, but here's me smiling. The eyebrow thing. I write down, trying to frown. Put a blow. What else am I missing? Um, nostril flare. Mm. So, I think I got most of it. Um, so I would say, yeah, but my face still feels better. It's less numb. If I'm not talking or doing anything and not looking in a mirror, which is a bit hard to do, I almost feel regular. And I've been very thankful that my eye could close. Because I was a worry when my eyebrows started to get stiff that my eye would... Uh, start to not close, so I've been glad I haven't had to go crazy with the eye drops or eye patch, and my sleeping has been, you know, okay. Um, but the main thing that hit me was actually just the side effect from these medications. I'm on prednisone, this steroid thing, and valic, valic cyclo veneer, or hold on, I have it here. Um, yeah, valic cyclo veneer. And I think it took me about a day to realize wait a second, this might not be actually the Bell's palsy causing these mooshes, but actually side effects from the drugs. And I'm almost positive that it is side effects from the drugs. I looked at prednisone and one of the main side effects is nausea and then fatigue, which was huge um, for me. And then for the valacyclovir, the most common side effects, discouragement, feeling sad or empty, irritability, Lack of appetite, loss of interest or pleasure, tiredness, trouble concentrating, trouble sleeping. So, not a very fun list, and I felt all of those for sure. It was strange. It's all of my life force gone. Um, and the enthusiasm I had on the first video, of, I'm going to do all this stuff, blah, 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 gone. Um, this is my fourth day in, uh, and I'd say this is the first time where I actually feel some of my life force returning. I still took it easy. Didn't do the gym, didn't teach any of that. See, even right now as I'm talking, it, my voice got a bit better. I'm just trying, if I really focus on talking here, um, I sound pretty much regular. Peep, peep, chest, you can even see it happening. But I would say, I just made this video mostly to let you guys know that those side effects hit me like a brick wall. And those, it's in a way almost was worse than me than the numb face because I wasn't doing anything. I never quite felt that, like this extreme depression and sadness, tired the whole time. I tried going to the gym after unbelievable amounts of mental will. Um, and I got so dizzy trying to drive my car after about one minute, I had to like go, oh my God, I gotta turn around. And um, also it was very, been very windy and since my eye didn't blink as much, even just going outside for like one minute, the wind in my eye, I'm just starting to just tear up like crazy. So. I just wanted to make a video mostly saying that if anyone's out there with these crazy sadness, depression, side effects, and fatigue, and 
nausea. That has hit me strong. And on day four, I finally am starting to feel my life force returning. Some of the prednisone is a five day cycle. So my last dose will be tomorrow. So I hope my nausea and all that stuff is gone. And the valacyclovir, I have uh, three more days on. Some of it might be my body's finally getting used to it or, but either way, I'm, I'm gonna be very happy to be off of those. I'm glad to be on them because those are the best things to do to expedite this process. So I'm just trying to stick with it. But yeah, this is a video to explain mostly that this is about side effects and uh, I'm excited for tomorrow because I'm hoping I'll have enough energy to at least go to the gym and do some activities outside. So that's the big thing. And then once more with my side effects is overall, my neck pain finally has mostly res recited, is that a word? Receded. Um, nothing here, but my face still feels better overall. Less numbness here, which was nice. Like it's like a bit easier to eat and drink. Um, unfortunate about the eye. Still, like, like I said, it feels regular unless I... Like, you know, I'll be doing something and go, you know what, I think my face is healed, yeah! And I'll go to the mirror, and go, Ugh, guess not, huh? So I've been, you know, I'm trying not to do the whole Quasimodo living in the belfry for the rest of my life thing. I had a few social interactions, and, you know, I, you feel pretty self-conscious about your voice being silly, and then people are obviously just staring at this side of your face. I had a DoorDash delivery, and the whole time I'm like, Hi, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Have a good day. You know, just trying to avoid it, but, you know, so, so I'm just trying to be honest with just my journey here for my own thoughts and for anyone else out there. Um, so I feel like there's something else you want. Oh, I have been, I don't know if this will do anything, but I've been doing these exercises a few times a day, like raise the eyebrow, or I'll assist. About 10 reps of this. 10 reps of the frowning, and I'll try to get range of motion both ways. And then try something with the nose flaring. And the smile. And I'll do one with the teeth, which takes a bit more effort. And then the frowning. I remember there was a joke out there, like it takes way more muscles to frown, so. Why would you frown if you can smile? <laughs> so, but I don't know. So I do about 10, 15 reps of that a few times a day. Try to do a blowing thing. <sighs> Switching directions even with my tongue. You know, clockwise, counterclockwise. I don't know if that does anything at all. Basic massaging. Let's figure my face is atrophying and you know, I spend lots of time at the gym and I'm trying to think of those same basic concepts of, you know, you it just muscle atrophy, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. I don't, but I don't, I don't that might be just placebo, but anyway, um, I can't find my glasses, I'm actually super blind. Uh, okay. So anyway, I just wanted to give a brief update on that. I'm feeling better today because I'm not depressed and I have more energy, so. Still hopeful that all this will pan out since my mouth has improved. Um, all that jazz, so anyone, and then we're out there dealing with this. We're in it together and hope everybody has a great day and gets through this and thinking positive. I know it can be a bummer, especially watching video after video uh, with all these things. So anyway, hope everybody has a wonderful day and peace out.